Hi there! In this video, I'll show you how to tweak draw size, Z intensity, and focal shift in ZBrush using the Speedbrush Tuner plugin. If you have a Torbox or a similar macro pad, you can take it a step further by using the knobs to make these adjustments even easier. I'll cover that part toward the end of the video. Alright, let's get started! Once you've installed the SB Tuner plugin, you'll find the SB Tuner menu under the Z plugin menu. When you open the menu, you'll see sliders and several buttons. The sliders let you set the increment values for brush size, Z intensity, and focal shift. The buttons below each slider are used to increase or decrease the values by those amounts. For added convenience, you can assign hotkeys to each button. In my case, I've kept the default hotkeys for brush size adjustments in MISC Utilities as left bracket and right bracket, and then mapped the SB Tuner brush size controls to different keys. For example, I use the SB Tuner hotkeys to adjust brush size by increments of 10, while the default hotkeys adjust it by increments of 1. This way, I can fine tune my brush size easily using two different settings. The same process works for Z intensity and focal shift. Just set your hotkeys and you're good to go. At the bottom of the menu, there's a Store Current Values button. This saves the values you've set for all three sliders. So, the next time you open ZBrush, your settings will be ready to go without needing to reconfigure them. Now, let's talk about using Torbox knobs to adjust brush settings. As you can see, I've used the Torbox software to assign ZBrush hotkeys to the knobs. When I turn the knobs, they adjust draw size, Z intensity, and focal shift directly. It's a smooth and quick way to make changes on the fly. Some of you might have struggled with fine-tuning brush settings using the mini menu or by manually adjusting sliders in the top menu. Or maybe you've tried using the tour box knobs but found it limited to adjusting only brush size. I created this plugin to solve those issues and I hope it makes your workflow a lot smoother. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.